Righto, Talio. Today I'm going to be comparing what I think are the three best 13 inch laptops you can buy. Now I have a review on all these laptops. I will leave a link in the description to those reviews. I will also leave a link in the description to my recommended models of each of these laptops. So I will also leave a link in the description to a very affordable Xiaomi Notebook Air 13 inch which is very competitive with these products and is very affordable. Now the three laptops I have chosen as the best 13 inch laptops are the MacBook Pro non-touch, the Surface laptop and the Dell XPS 13. Now when it comes to price, pretty much the XPS 13 is the winner here. You can get a quad core 8th generation 8550U which is of a magnitude faster than the dual core 7th generation processors in the Surface Laptop and the MacBook Pro. So if you upgrade the Surface Laptop and the MacBook Pro 13 inch to an i7 and it's only a dual core i7 it will be hundreds of dollars more expensive so if price is a concern for you that Dell XPS 13 is the better buy. Now in terms of design they're all premium design here they all have their pluses and minuses. I do like the overall build quality of the Surface Laptop that beautiful Alcantara finished nice square look of it. Overall I would say that has the best fit and finish or some people call that build quality. The Mac I love when it's closed the uniform thickness I love that space gray color on the Mac and it is very well put together and the XPS 13 when you open up the screen and you see that infinity edge the screen and that beautiful carbon fiber deck it looks beautiful so whichever way you go you're going to have a premium design laptop it's going to probably be personal preference there my personal preference I would say probably the surface laptop is probably the best build quality or fit and finish now in terms of size and weight the Mac is the heaviest so it's over three pounds the only one over three pounds at 3.02 pounds just over or 1.37 kilos the xps 13 is 2.9 pounds with the qhd model and the surface laptop is the lightest at 2.83 pounds or 1.283 kilos to see that the surface laptop is the lightest i think it's probably because it's made out of magnesium so it is what it is there's really not that much to choose between them they're all around 15 millimeters thick. Also here, the Surface Laptop is the thinnest at 14.5 millimeters thick. So, you know, size and weight, the Surface Laptop is the lightest, the Mac is the heaviest, and the XPS 13 is in the middle. Now, when it comes to ports, there's only one winner here. The XPS 13 has all the ports you need, SD card slot, USB 3, Thunderbolt 3 over USB-C, which is a two times, but it's got everything you want. The MacBook Pro, only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports over USB-C. It is annoying to me to have to use dongles, but even worse than that, the Surface Laptop just has one USB port, and that is just mind-blowing. I don't know what's going on there. Easy win for the XPS 13 when it comes to ports. Keyboard and trackpad, I can easily say that the Surface Laptop has the best keyboard, the Mac has the best trackpad, and the XPS 13 is somewhere in between. When it comes to sound, easy win here for the MacBook Pro has the best sound, no doubt about it. I would say second is the Surface Laptop, and close behind would be the XPS 13, but the MacBook Pro sound is of a magnitude better than both of those. Now when it comes to performance, well, easy win for the XPS 13 here. It's the only one that has the 8th generation quad-core parts. Now the Surface Laptop and MacBook Pro 13, I assume we'll get that at some point, probably next year. But as it stands now, no doubt about it, it's around 40% faster the XPS 13 having those 8th generation quad-cores in here. The Mac has the fastest SSD, it is much faster than all of them. The Surface Laptop's SSD is a joke, it's like 350 megabytes per second write, it is like seriously a joke. And with the XPS 13 you can upgrade the SSD if you want and which SSD you get, your guess is as good as mine. It could be a super fast Samsung or it could be a Toshiba that is a little bit slow but it is generally fast. Now heat and sound. So. The Mac gets the hottest, no doubt about it. Don't even bother getting the i7 in the Mac. I recommend getting the i5. It pretty much performs the same as the i7 anyway because the Mac will throttle with the i7. I have the i7 model here. Now, without a doubt, the Surface Laptop is the quietest. It's the coolest. Now, I haven't tested the quad-core XPS 13, 
so I can't comment on the heat and noise, but just looking at the specifications, the heat is supposed to be around the same as the seventh generation CPU. So it will be quieter than the Mac and a little less hot. But without a doubt, the Surface Laptop is the best in this department. When it comes to display, this is pretty easy. The Mac has the best display, 16 by 10, which is really useful on a 13 inch laptop. As the screen is so small it has the wider color gamut it gets the brightest second would probably be the pixel and not far behind that would be the qhd xps 13 screen but you remember that the xps 13 and the surface laptop are both touch screens but they are all good screens but the mac is the best and the only thing to note is the xps 13 does have the higher resolution so when it comes to battery life if you're talking full hd model on the xps 13 you're going to get your 12 hours but if you're talking the high res screen on all these models you will get about 10 hours with the macbook pro around nine hours with the surface laptop and around seven and a half eight hours with the xps 13 with the qhd display so my overall conclusion which one is the best well you're going to have to work out which one suit you the best but for me it's easily the xps 13 it's better value you can upgrade the ssd in it the surface laptop and the macbook pro you cannot upgrade anything in it what you get you're stuck with and also the xps 13 is 40 percent faster has all the ports so overall i would say it's the best 13 inch laptop i'm going to rule out the surface laptop from even coming close to any of these the surface laptop has 16 by 10 ratio also on its display so that is handy but the one port wonder having just one usb port and having a really slow ssd do not like it at all i have to put that last and the mac is pretty close behind the xps 13 other than the port situation and also it's obviously not as fast as the xps 13. so there you have it that's the shootout between the macbook pro non-touch surface laptop dell xps 13. which one do you think is the best let me know down there in the comments i'd like to really thank you guys for watching subscribe for more content like this and until next time guys tally ho